Good morning guys, welcome once again from the lovely Hamburg. We are on the road for another adventure and this time we are heading to Nordsee. To be specific, island of Romo in Denmark. It's one of the most interesting islands you have um, in Europe because it's one of the shorelines where you can actually drive your car. And today we're once again with our trusty Makan and we want to see how it does on quite rough roads, shorelines and meadows in the middle of a North Sea. Come join me once again for another adventure. Two things that you can really notice when coming here closer to the Northern Sea is the wind turbines. They're literally everywhere. And the second one is the excessive amount of sheep. Literally every second animal I have seen here is sheep 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 very few cows very few horses i would assume it's probably for the wool or whether it's for the mutton and meat but it's of course very interesting and uh, i hope that maybe we can see some of them uh, up close and personal hello good morning can you get a matthias brush you have matthias yeah yeah this of course is one of the craziest ways to do bird watching here in the North Sea. Casually arrive with a Aventador black on black. So I mean, whoever did that, props to him. I mean, it looks absolutely phenomenal, black on black. I don't know what's the full spec, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't really expect one, one to be here. Usually more of a Monaco or Munich type of thing. But yeah, here it is in the middle of absolute nowhere. Crazy. St. Peter Ording is giving quite a taste already maybe of what to come because the sand dunes here are quite quite deep. Of course you have the flat surfaces like we're here right now but some of the places I mean I'm happy I have the 21s uh, for the summer on uh, but uh, overall of course the experience is, is, is quite interesting and you can see it, it looks like really really like uh, you're in some uh, Burning Man. Just amazing views, absolutely amazing. Welcome to the end of European continent. We're here at the end of the North Sea enjoying absolutely wonderful weather uh, on a border of Germany and Denmark and I was thinking to film something on a bench but as you might see it's quite occupied with local residents and sheep as I said earlier is, is probably hundred times more than people here. Um, it's been a wonderful day. It's been and still is an amazing evening. I'm enjoying the sunset. Uh, we're off tomorrow morning to Denmark. We're on the border right now to island of Romo and that is our destination. So day one has ended and we are going off to day two tomorrow morning. It is day two of our North Sea trip and we are already going to some Danish villages. Um, it's been a rough night, you know, when you sleep in a, in a colony of birds uh, the, the nights tend to be quite loud and of course the car is completely co co covered in the <laughs> bird poop and it's Sunday and nothing works when it comes to car washing but I wanted maybe to make two remarks about how the ha first half a year of with, with Porsche Macan has been with me um, everything has been phenomenal knock on the wood uh, nothing uh, tragic and etc but two things I have noticed and I also have read in the Macan forum shout out to you guys um, one is errors or sometimes excessive amount of errors it can be error about um, PTK it can be error about uh, sign reading it can be uh, error about uh, distance control various of reasons uh, 
can be Porsche thing, can be Vag thing. I don't know. They 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 tend to sometimes appear. They tend to tend to disappear. Um, probably you need to do the previous diagnosis and, and, and see what's what's the deal with them. But so far they haven't been lethal, and I hope that is the way it stays. Um, and the second one is uh, oil, uh, motor oil. Uh, it's not eating as much as some of the. Uh, BMW uh, BMW models but what I see 0.5 liters roughly 0.5 in 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 two months time uh, it, it's minimum I would say it's minimum what it consumes and um, what I remember from the times when I had the s4 b9 Audi uh, it was much more lesser amount than that significantly lesser but I've read it's normal. It's normal consumption. Nothing, nothing horrible. But this is something maybe that you need to need to take into account. And what I've read from the previous, the first generation, the turbo 3.6 engines, which I like. I know they are somewhat risky, but uh, but you know that consumption of oil could be even 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 bigger from what I have seen and read so far. We are on our way to the famous Romo Island, and we're already on the Romo Way. The views are just completely out of this planet. You are already in the middle of the North Sea and the stretch is going through the plains and you have vastness, basically vast emptiness until the horizon and it just feels like you're on another planet. We're literally a couple of minutes away from the beach and all I'm hoping that we haven't made all this long way and there's something has happened, it's closed or you cannot enter or you cannot enter or you know there's bad weather or storm so Please, 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 I really hope that the way that we have done is worth it. We have literally just entered the Romo beach and this is phenomenal. This is like, this is like Saudi Arabia desert until the horizon. It is huge. I mean, on the map, you know, it looked as a regular island, but now I, I really understand what is it about. I mean, the views and I don't know. My eyes are running left, right, left, right, and now you have to, I have to think where do I go, where do I go, but it's tons and tons and tons of people, kites and uh, uh, mobile homes, so uh, we'll try to find a more discreet place and, and, and try to film some, some, some good shots here. Hey guys, welcome back from Hamburg. It's been quite a nice quick trip. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm a little bit bummed that I wasn't able to put out the last shots from Denmark due to the technical quality, but I guess stuff happens and, and, and I'll be better prepared for the next time. For the June, we have quite interesting plans ahead of me. We're having a big Baltic trip and we're, to, we're there to be filmed at least two quite iconic cars. So I hope you stick around for month of June, the start of 2023 Motor Concierge summer season. See you, until then, bye.